going to be talking about this pen. This pen came to me through Endless Pens. Thank you very much, Endless Pens. Uh, short story, <clears throat> this pen was sent to me along with another pen that you'll see in a future video in June 2020. Now, June 2020, the world was racked and plagued by something called a pandemic. Uh, and I was tracking the parcel and it came from the US and it crossed the border into Canada and it disappeared. Woo! Gone! And it just wasn't trackable anymore. Nobody knew what happened to it. And Endless Pens inquired and I inquired. Nobody knew. Nobody knew. And I kind of forgot about it because weeks passed. Now let's let's do the, the, the cheap documentary thing. Weeks passed into months and it just kept getting time for, you know, the flowers started, etc. July 2021, more than a year later, doorbell rings, it's the post delivery lady, and she says I have a parcel for you. Now, I have a lot of things coming in because people send me a lot of review products, right? So I have a lot of parcels coming in. So I say, oh, thank you. I grab it. I think, well, I, I think it's this thing, which I was waiting for. I, I look at the label, I think endless pens. Turns out this was the parcel. So it had taken 13 months to get from the United States to Canada. And there was a very polite, uh, apologetic letter uh, on it from Canada Post that says something like, Ooh, we're very sorry, eh? Yeah, we found this in the office. We don't know what happened, but it's here now, eh? Uh, which is very sweet. And I, I mean that genuinely. Like, it's very kind. Nobody knows how this happened. It, it, maybe it fell behind something. <clears throat> Whatever. This is all incredibly fascinating, but maybe we should get on to the pen. So, we are talking about the Pelican. M200 Pastel. It's a very cute little pen and it's sold out now. I'm sorry, it's not my fault, but this it, it took 13 months to get here. So if you want one, I have one. Uh, let's talk about the past of this pen. We'll talk about what I like and dislike, but before I do that, I'll do a writing sample. Let's get started. Okay, let's get started with this Pelican Souverain M200 Pastel. So, it comes in a box, and I will say very cutely, there's the outer sleeve, and there is this tray drawer thing. We need, I mean, it's fun that as fountain pen users, we have all kinds of super specialized terminology like, oh, that's the clip, oh, that's the feed, oh, that's the feed channel. This is the tray thing. Uh, here we have a fake leather pouch, which had the little uh, pen condom in it and uh, the little uh, slip that goes around the, sorry, it goes around the, the, the clip. I'm not gonna do that now because it takes a lot of time, but you know, to, to, to show you, um, uh, the, what, what pen it is and what nib it has. So there is this, again, not real leather. Um, also on the, the camera, these, this, these ribbons look neon green. They actually are pastel green. Uh, then there is the paperwork. Right, the booklet with, with typically filling instructions, uh, uh, nib sizes, that, that kind of stuff. And then there is the actual pen. This is the actual pen. I am going to zoom in so you can actually see it properly. And then there is a comparison pen. This is a Pilot Metropolitan, <clears throat> which as you can see is a little bigger. Uh, and in case you were wondering, I happen to also have a Lamy Safari here, also bigger. The M200 is not a large pen. And that's not a value judgment because as we all know, size doesn't matter. Now, let's have a look at what we can see in this pen. On top here we have the, sorry, I'm so sorry, we have, I, I have a slightly different camera setup, so I have to get used to where I put my hands, I'm sorry. Uh, here we have the finial, which I think is quite nice, the pelican with the baby chick. We have the clip, which as you may know, or may not know, it is a pelican, right, stylized pelican. We have the eyes and then the bill of the, uh, the animal there. We have a nice white cap. I've always liked these white pelican caps. It is, it is, it, it, for some reason it looks classy to me. Then we have that very nice 
pastel material with a lot of chatoyance. It's really quite nice how the way it captures the light. You can also see it's a bit translucent. And then we have the piston turning knob, which I won't operate too much here because there's a lot of ink in the pen. The <clears throat> cap unscrews with about three quarters of a turn. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here we have the section, which tapers down, flares out a little bit, and then we have the threads, which are quite sharp. I'll come back to that. Uh, just in case we wanted to know, the uh, clip is quite springy, and because of that shape, I found it to slide very easily into uh, pockets, pen cases, etc. Okay, so you have the section, we have a nib. This is a 24 karat gold plated steel nib with a plastic feed. These nib units turn out like they unscrew quite easily. Turn out doesn't make sense. They unscrew quite easily and then you can replace them quite easily. You'll come back to that. And we see the nice clear ink window in there, which gives you a good idea of how much ink you have left. Now, this is not a large pen uh, by any means, and when you post it, I think it becomes a quite comfortable size for most people. And that's pretty much it. Let's see what we can do with this pen. Here we have some paper. I'll zoom out and let's get cracking. Oh, oh that was too far ahead. Here we go. So what we have here is a Pelican M200 Pastel. Uh, the nib is fine and the ink is Moonstone Grey by Edelstein, which is another Pelican brand, right? They're fancy inks. I remind you that the camera microphone typically picks up nib sounds quite strongly but having said that it's a pretty smooth nib even for a fine it's a pretty smooth nib I'm also writing on the back of the cover of the notebook but as I was testing it I found that it really is a nice smooth writer uh, which I don't remember ever having used a pelican that was not smooth. They, they, they are nice writers, I think. Sometimes, in the, especially the broader nibs, a bit over polished, but given that this is a fine, out of the box it wrote very nicely. As to wetness of the pen, by no means a gusher. And of course, also a bit of a property of the ink and the paper, but I mean, it's not a super wet writer. Line variation. Well, it is a true round nib. As always, very careful but you could squeeze a little bit of variation out of it. It's not a flex nib and it's not advertised as such, so be very careful. Then there is reverse writing. You're already starting off with a pretty fine nib, but as you can see, you can get away with a couple of words, but it is only that. A couple of words, because then the pen runs dry. Okay, so there we have it. Let's have a chat. I couldn't pull, did you see that? I couldn't, I couldn't pull the cap of the back. What the hell, couldn't unpost the pen? Negatives, can't unpost, uh, anyway. Let's talk about what I like and what I dislike about this pen. Ooh, exactly. So what do I like, what do I not like about the Pelican M200? Pastel. Uh, there's a couple of things that I really like. It's a nice material. I really do think, I'm usually not a massive uh, fan of, of um, pastel, uh, but I, I will say there is, there is a very nice, cute effect of this material. It is almost a little soothing, which, which sounds strange, but, I, but I, that's the best way I can put it. The pen is very portable. It is uh, almost like a pocket pen. And when I say that, people say, it's not a pocket pen. That's why I said it is a bit like a pocket pen, almost like a pocket pen, right? It's really not that big, but it is 
I find it relatively comfortable, especially when it is posted. The advantage of a somewhat smaller pen is that it is portable. It fits in all pen cases and it fits in breast pockets typically quite well, which I think is nice because some bigger pens stick out more. I really like the ink window, which immediately shows you how much ink you have left, which I think is a great feature, especially with a piston filled pen because otherwise you have no idea. It's not like a cartridge converter that you can quickly unscrew the barrel, have a look at how much ink is left. You don't know. Now, to be fair, the whole material is a little translucent. I don't know how well you can see that. I don't want to block that because that's kind of blocking the light where you can see it a little bit, right? You see the dark patch in there. So it is a bit translucent, but still, I think the ink window is nice. It's clear you don't have to hold the pen up to a light source, etc. Piston filler is nice, right? But that's kind of what Pelican does, typically, right, especially on the, the Souverain uh, uh, range, so that's nice. Other things I don't like so much. Not a whole lot. I don't know if this is a pen I would pick for myself, for a couple of reasons. It's relatively small, which typically doesn't work so well for me, but that's very personal. I'm not sure if I would select the pastel green, but one particular issue I have with it is the section is quite small, relatively speaking, and it does have fairly sharp threads. For me, that is an issue because I cannot hold this section in any way without feeling those threads, right? If you were to have somewhat smaller hands, this would probably be great, right? I'm just saying, this combination is a bit of an issue. That's all. Having said that, I think it's a pretty decent pen, uh, $123.99, that's the, the price it was on sale for on end, at Endless Pen, so that's the, the price I'll quote. For under $125, it's a steel nib pen, but it does have a piston filler. Uh, it was a, um, a sort of a, a special edition uh, piston filled pen, steel nib, gold plating, right comfortably other nibs are available the advantage of the pelican pens is you can buy other nibs for the same pen range even gold nibs in the m4 m400 range and just unscrew the whole unit screw the a new unit in so that makes the nib interchangeability another positive and you can build up quite an arsenal of different nibs you can put on the same pen so having said that I think it's a it's a cute little pen. It's it's nice. It's well made. It it writes properly. So I think all of that is what it has going for it. And I think that is a lot of fun. So overall, I think it's it's a nice pen, pleasant pen to use, uh, and quite nice. Not something I would personally select, but that's a very personal choice, obviously. Now, as I said, uh, I I see them sold out in a lot of places. I do apologize again. It's nobody's fault. It's just that this parcel reached me very late. And that's it. I hope this was useful. A very kind thank you again to Endless Pens and um, I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye.